have a problem with this image. So it's implied that they live in Future Town, and they need generators because they need to keep up their hospitals and all. This does not look like the kind of place that uses generators. Like, I know it's a limitation of what they could realistically do, but... I don't know. Eh, 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 ow. Shoestring budget kind of forgives a lot. We're doing Remy's bad ending, because Remy's a, is a sat fucking sack of shit. He smells... Probably does, considering that he sits in a musky, uh, musty uh, old uh, library the whole time. Probably smells of dust. A dusty boy. Change this one a bit because it sounds a bit more eh. Uh, I've been looking for you for a few days. To be honest, I didn't really, I didn't really estimate my chances of being positive. I got, got a little bit of a. I don't know. It makes him sound more like a dork. So, at what point were you told that Reza's dead? Well, I guess he's dead now, but... I don't think you're... Uh, we probably saw his corpse on the way out, then. Like, they were already putting the, him in the body bag. Weird they didn't have a fucking body bag standing by, but there you go. So, why would they trust you? Like, again, it's implied that you were left behind as a traitor. I imagine this is pressure from the Dragon Council side, since the player is not a complete asshat in this ending. But, why would the humans take your word on anything if they threw you away initially? Like, maybe because they collaborated with, like, oh, Reza was lying, there's a lot of possibility that the player was doing... Like, I don't know, it just feels kind of... It feels kind of like they're whiplashing all over the place with how they stand on matters. So, Reza was able to give a full testimony? Like, again, like, this situation as a wa- I guess, again, it's one of those timelines you just have to kind of wave. Like, I understand that you kind of have to hand wave it to some extent. Like, like, I don't know. Still, the fact that humanity just kind of ignores this critical detail. That Reza probably communicated on day one if he had any communications with humanity at any point at all. I'm just saying, it's kind of weird. I imagine that, that Maverick's death is like the big thing, like... The player character wasn't attacked by a dragon. Reza shot Maverick, who was an officer of the law. Reza's personal hatred of Maverick aside, that's a situation that you might be like, Oh, fuck! Why would it take weeks to get here? Wouldn't Remy's immediate interrogation get this whole thing on top? I'm, I'm just saying it's one of those timelines that really only works when you don't look at it. It, it works on a, on a blurry perspective, but the minute you start attaching dates, you start ruining it. This is a good song, considering the twist that comes up where everything's like, Whoops! We're late.
I'm adding a little bit of a... By the way, is your wound doing fine? Because it's kind of weird your character just kind of shifts to this. Without, like, any linking words. It's like, how's your wound? It's like, uh, I was talking about how we need you as a witness. I mean, I appreciate the uh, sentiment, but... Like, just just, just, a, just a tiny linking word can, can, can glue it together a bit better. Nuances. So, here's... I think I know something that suddenly makes sense. When Izumi left, um, it's entirely possible that she saw uh, Reza just kind of fucking off. And when the soldiers came, she was like, well, there's nothing... Like, maybe it's possible this is like a repeat timeline. It's one of those where she's kind of already anticipating it. But the fact that she leaves um, makes sense when you really think about it. Because she probably knows that, okay, if humanity is coming in, we're never going to get this thing set up properly. Like, think about that. There's an entirely possibility that Izumi's like, okay, th we're, we're done. It doesn't matter if the player fixes this. We're going to be too late. We don't have the power. That'd be interesting. I don't think she mentions it specifically, but it makes sense. And it kind of justifies her actions. Again, the fact that the portal is apparently around the fucking corner. Where the hell was this portal before humanity found it? Did they just ignore it and were like, eh, we're going to do that? Like, I would accept it if there's just one tiny fucking line that says, okay, we found a portal, like, years ago, but we kind of ignored it for a long period of time. Um, like, let, let's go back to the beginning, because I'm really confused as to how they justify the fact that you just kind of ignore it the whole way through. Uh, chapter 1 and Chapter 3 are the ones where this comes up primarily. No, I would not like to update Stardock 8. How could this be just around the corner? But it's in the middle of nowhere and there's a city around it? Did you move the city? I mean, it's implied the city is like a fortified structure, so... Again, I think that the opening has a some, some like The tone of this just goes weird at places. It, like, this implies this portal is, like, huge distances away. Like, like, where is the portal? If it's apparently around the fucking corner in the city, it doesn't make sense! It doesn't work. It feels like it's trying to... Like, you can just say that the portal was moved. Like, did they move the portal? I would accept it if the portal was just fucking moved. Which isn't seems to be possible. Like, it's big, yes, but you could theoretically move it. Ugh. Okay, okay, let's go back, let's go back. Maybe it mentions that the portal was was moved. Because also the dragon portal is, like, in the open. And it's implied that it's just buried under dirt. But why? Wouldn't they, like, worship the portal if Izumi is related to... Like, I don't know. There's a lot of, um... There's a lot of, like, holes in logic that don't make sense when you really look at them. And again, you can hand wave things, but the minute you draw attention to it... Like, it's what I like to call the, the, the radius... There's a radius which in which, when I, when you come close to this radius, the whole story falls apart because there's too many specifics, but not enough specifics. There's enough information that it doesn't make sense, but too little for it to work again. You're in a dangerous transitionary period, and you have to keep track of that. Yeah, you found it in the fucking wilderness. It's specified. Multi-tool. It's interesting that the multi-tool is a different thing. What is this multi- Oh, I get it. The multi-tool explains how he's able to use things like screwdrivers, how he's able to manipulate the generators. Like, he just had those on him from the get-go. Okay. That's what the whole thing is for. But it never explains where the portal is. Like, it's kind of implied the portal was moved. Yeah, this is a this is a hole I need I need someone to talk about. Actually, I have my other computer on. Usually I turn it off at this point, but
Oh, I should probably should pause this. Whoops! Anyway, I usually pause, right? Because I'm dumb. It's impressive that Remy's able to fix this thing. Why don't you fix it? How, why, how would Remy be told this? Oh, yeah, that... I guess that's trying to explain how your character... But here's the problem. How did they shut the portal down from this side? Like, they shut down the portal and somehow went through it? Is there a time period? Like, you can set it on a timer, but they took out the part... Like, that, I'd, I'd accept that. Like, like, the explanation is you can set the portal on a timer so you can send yourself through. But you can also use it to break the, the components that let you control it at the same time. <laughs> Kind of weird they never just shut down the portal on the dragon's end. Like, this is the weird part. Like, why shut it down on this end? I mean, they don't know you know how to do this at all, is the thing. Also, why is the portal connected to the dragon kind at all? There's a question. Kind of weird. Just kind of weird. Oh, well, like, I'm willing to accept the portals were linked up because they're the same portal or something like that, but... The bigger problem is just that humanity makes this weird move that doesn't really work for them. And also where the portal is. Like, again, you could just... Like, the thing is, this is not a problem. This is not, like, me saying, why is the character acting like this? This makes no sense. This is me saying, you could have fixed this with a throwaway line just saying, we we move the portal. ba da ba ba da ba Never mentioned. <laughs> also, I've written for no particular reason a large amount of writing that I'm kind of embarrassed about. It's how I, it's how my inspiration works. I just see a thing, I'm like, oh, that looks nice, and then I think of a whole bunch of shit around it. Which is neat and fun, but it also means that the stuff I write about is kind of dumb.
Oh yeah, the Ultima series. I like, apparently the Ultima series, like the first one is about virtues are great, and then every other game is about how virtues are fucking terrible. <laughs> it's great! Like, I really want to see someone just pick it apart in that way. Where, where the whole point is, uh, uh, virtues are great, but you can take them too far. Like the gargoyles, they're like, we have our own virtues. Or the guy was like, I have these own virtues, and they're terrible. It's neat. Adding a weak yes. It's kind of weird to just say yes. Like, this is not the kind of... Like, I know this is kind of specific, but if someone asks you, how long have you been gone? Like, a month? And you say yes? You can say yes, but you could, typically, I imagine that it sounds a bit better if you say yes, a month. It sounds a bit more like, yeah, I'm assuring that specific answer. Because, don't forget, like, the main question is this, and then this is a suggestion. And, and I don't know, it just feels better. Ah, oh, cool. I'm gonna watch a cool video on Spoonie on Ultima. Radical. Oh, wait, I think I saw that one. It's kind of interesting that they didn't even stop... Like, the, the problem here is the people didn't stop the comet at all. Which is the weird thing. Like, no one bothered to inform anyone about this. I guess no one figured it out. No one tried. Also, the amount of subtleties and... and, and it's It's kind of hard. Like, the amount of just things that just happen, don't, try to avoid that. Try to have things naturally flow. The The narrator doesn't have to be like, suddenly, just be like, they showed up. It doesn't matter. Suddenly sounds a bit more too direct. Try, like, it puts a lot of stress on the sentence. To say, suddenly, and then, immediately afterwards. It makes things sound rushed. Use it when something actually just, whoosh, appears. Like, suddenly a realization hits me. is good. And, and, and suddenly someone's behind me. But Azumi just walks up to you! She's not, like, running to, to slam dunk you into the ground and go, It's John Cena! No, she just shows up. Oh, fuck. He called out the administrator. I need to change a quick thing. Man, the amount of naming construction is kind of weird. Ah, oh, man. What the hell is this? I don't know this channel. Oh, that's radical. Oh, I'm already looking forward to this. Yeah! Why did she take so long?
I changed a bit because the civilization just doesn't have as much pop. We don't use that term as much. So I just say, oh, well, the dragons and humans are all destroyed. Wait, she was there. I like the idea that she actually was there. Like, she followed him. She just kind of pussyfooted behind him. And showed up. And she was like, don't mind me. Don't mind me. And she just sort of slips away because everyone's, like, all over Reza. That would work, actually. Actually, that would work really well. That would patch up a couple of problems I have. It's still kind of weird that your character talks from like a future perspective, something they shouldn't already know, but... weird that Remy talks like this. Yeah, but then, but then why can't Remy just come? Wouldn't that be less complicated? Ugh. Poor Remy. I do feel kind of sad for him because he basically just says, ah, I'll just fucking die here, I guess. I hope he lives a good life. Maybe he finds other humans elsewhere. I don't think that would be a good thing, though. Your utmost goal. I don't think... I don't think the word is intended to be used in that way. Yeah. I mean, sure, maybe it's the word last goal, but let's look it up in the dictionary specifically. I don't know if that really works, as in that's my greatest goal. Yeah, yeah, it's explained that um, that the thing has a delay, which is kind of cute.
Does every bad ending reveal her name? That'd be interesting. What is a smirk? The fact that the PC is their own character is mo most obvious by the fact that the player remembers, but the PC does not. I think it'd be more interesting if you just get over. Like, the reason Azumi remembers so well is because she got over her, her amnesia. Because of all the repetition. Yeah, again, they cut this part out, which is weird. Also, the fun fact that they apparently stole it from the evil ending. I wonder if this is intentional, if this was actually supposed to be active. Because it's kind of weird that the teleportation is taken out. There we go. Okay, so what's his credits? It's moving on! Reza Bitten, logical. Remy Apartment, logical. Remy Sad. But what? What is Remy Sad? Oh, that's his big little splash screen, which apparently was going to show Emera. Emera CG. I think it's chapter 3. Yeah, here's a sad one. Sad boy. Which still looks really dramatic for what it is. Yeah, it does too. CG Emera. That's a nice one. Doesn't make a lot of sense, since Emera doesn't really play into this all that much. And then we get Vara, which is like a clue, which is again, he's like, maybe leave Adin for a clue. Ooh, a clue. Next time, Remy wins. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs>